Well, hello and welcome to a new video. We are going to take a look at the performance of the Dell Precision 5550 in the game Hogwarts Legacy. And we're playing at 1080p with the medium settings preset right now. And this machine has the NVIDIA Quadro T2000 graphics card as well as the i9 CPU and 32 gigabytes of RAM. And we are playing in Hogwarts, uh, the castle, as you can see. And I have to say, this is pretty smooth gameplay right now. I would not have expected it to be this smooth. Well, let's go and begin a new quest. And see how well it runs here. But yeah, if it uh, actually sticks to the 40 FPS mark, then this is definitely an absolutely fine and playable experience in this title. I mean, the, the potential problems I see for this card in, in this game is uh, actually has less to do with the performance of the card itself and more with the, the VRAM limitations, since we're only having 4 GB of VRAM and uh, the VRAM clock speeds are actually quite a bit lower than what you see on the GTX 1650, so the consumer counterpart to this card. Um, yeah, I guess it's to be seen, um, but yeah, we, I don't know if the, if the ground actually hasn't loaded in correctly or if it's just a medium uh, texture preset that makes it look like that, but it doesn't really look uh, all that detailed. Oh yeah, I'm gonna skip ahead and I guess learn a new spell here. Ha, ah, Master of the Arts. It's Leviosa. Alright, but yeah, we can see that it's definitely not really dropping down uh, a lot from the 40 FPS mark, uh, so this is pretty well, uh, pretty, pretty good. Obviously in the, um, in the in the woods outside of the castle, I think it's a little bit more demanding in some parts. Um, and Hogsmeade, I think, is one of the most demanding uh, areas in this game in, in general. But, okay, uh, but this should still give you a good indication how well this will run. Sebastian. It's actually one of my favorite side characters of this, uh, this game. Sebastian from Slytherin. Mm -mm. All right. And I can't hurt him at all if I cannot cast the user first. Let's use the user as much as we can. But it seems to me that he is not very, very much a worthy opponent for us. <laughs> Since he basically isn't reacting to my spells at all and falling down the ramp. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna skip ahead so that we can go and run around in the castle a bit more. I guess we'll have to talk to Sebastian. Da, da, da. And join his little magic fighting club. Alright, but yeah, 
I would definitely uh, would have thought that we would see some stuttering here and there, especially when we're entering some new areas. Uh, but right now, this is very much not the case. So, I mean, we do see some really minor dips, but uh, yeah, apart from that, I would say. I just love all the details in this game. They really uh, made Hogwarts come to to life. It's really fascinating how well uh, they actually designed this castle. But yeah, it seems to me that at the medium settings preset, uh, this should be a pretty playable experience for uh, for you. And. This is where I will end this video and uh, I will continue playing this game uh, on this machine and if I do encounter uh, in the in, in the woods and in the outside in Hogsmeade for example uh, some severe performance drops and uh, issues as compared to, to the castle, I will make another video.